Welcome back to Parks with some parsimony. Today is going to be a grocery haul. We have not, well, we broke our, we didn't, that was actually part of our January shopping when we went to Aldi Yes. in January. So we went shopping once in Aldi. We did go over our target goal. If you watch those videos, we did go over our target goal. However, uh, we had put that clause in there. Deal of the century, we're going to stock up. So here we are, I have a shopping list. I'm not sure that we're gonna end up getting everything today. We um, are just kind of in that process of filling up our shelves with a few of the things that we've eaten down in the last six weeks. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to get, what I'm not, but I've got a couple coupons, so we're gonna be hitting two grocery stores, that's the plan, hitting two grocery stores, Hannaford and Aldi today. Wow, Aldi looks packed. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, it's still not that bad. It is not as bad as it looks. Okay, we're going to Hannaford first. Hannaford first. first and use my coupons, and then depending on what I can or cannot get there, then we will head to Aldi to finish up the rest of my shopping list. So we're back to the grocery store. This is what we ended up getting. We stopped at three grocery stores. We threw Price Chopper into there and we didn't end up finding any, any good deals at Price Chopper. So we walked in and walked out. But Hannaford, we had a coupon for $4 off a purchase of 30 or more. And they had their pork shoulder bus, 99 cents a pound. These are a fabulous way to stretch your budget if you've never done pork shoulder butts. Toss them in the crock pot, put a few spices on them, an onion, cook it away until it just falls apart and you have pulled pork. It's really, really easy and it's cheap too. So we picked up two of these and that was, let's see, almost $20 right there. And then I had some other coupons. This cottage cheese, I had a dollar off. So this was a dollar, I think it was $1.39 for this. The avocados, I also had a coupon for a dollar off the purchase of three, and they were on sale for the Super Bowl for 88 cents a piece. So what's that, 30, what's that make that? 53 uh, what's cents, it? Two. 88 minus 33 cents. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, 35 cents, 55 cents each, something. And Aldi was more expensive than that. So we picked up the avocados there. And then I was, as I was walking out, they had a bin of 50% off and they had citron. And I had citron for our fruit cake back, well, it was actually stolen bread. And this, I can tell you, I paid a whole lot more for, for that than the clearance. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then seltzer for pregnancy. I don't drink soda, but sometimes you just need a little bit of that fizzy. And that's what we did there. So everything at Hannaford, was $30.11, again, most of that being protein, and we're talking six to eight meals, aren't you think? Oh, at least, this? yeah, at that's least a lot of meals there. So, you know, good price. And it depends, there. if you throw a few noodles with it, maybe more. I know a lot of people are talking about inflation prices and grocery shopping, and the one thing we noticed is how we shopped, we didn't know the price, notice the prices going up. I will say when I walked past the bacon, I commented to Art, bacon was what, $6.89 a pound? Yes. <laughs> that definitely is high, a high price. We're just not, we're just not gonna eat bacon. <laughs> and that's okay. We will live without bacon. Well, we do have some in the freezer. We do. And it's it's one of those things that if prices are too high, we just don't buy it. That's just reality. So we didn't notice that with really any of our food that we bought today. In fact, some of the prices were lower. So moving on to Aldi here, I have a recipe for granola bars that I make when I'm pregnant slash nursing and it uses Rice Krispies. So I got two of those boxes. This is really the only time we ever buy Rice Krispies is when we make those. And the kids love them, I love them, and they're really good for after you have a baby. Um, chocolate chips have gone down. I think I mentioned this in my last food haul. They're $1.29. And at Christmas, they were $1.79, $1.89. Go figure. Again, inflation didn't affect the chocolate chips at all. Rice, because I haven't been able to get, I'm almost, I ran out of my, I've got only a little bit of the, what was it, a 30-pound bag right. that I had. Just so, a little bit left. 
This obviously will only last us two meals, <laughs> this size of rice. I need to find a supplier for a bigger bag, but for now, uh, that's what we got. Tomato soup, 50 cents a can. Interesting, very interesting. This is where it pays to read your labels and prices. Diced tomatoes, this one is basil, garlic, and oregano. And then they had plain diced tomatoes. And these were what, 55 cents? Right. Those are 57 59. and the other ones are 62. And I said, how is it that you get spices in this one and it's cheaper than buying regular diced tomatoes? So we bought, the. I mean, I know it's a few cents, but everything adds up over time. So we ended up with those diced tomatoes. Cream of chicken soup, these are just restock items. Everything seemed to be pretty well stocked. I didn't really notice any huge shortages. I mean, there were some things, some of the processed foods seemed a little thin. Tortillas, flour tortillas were what? A dollar sixty-nine for a twelve. A pack. I think they're a dollar eighty-nine or dollar ninety-nine. They had gone up. Yeah, they've that gone had way gone up. up. That's, so, that's like the do not buy range. I'll just make and and again, flour. The out west had a really bad flour year, wheat crop, this past twenty twenty-one. So anything with flour is going to go up. I see that even with my bulk flour that I'm buying. I'm paying twenty twenty-five dollars a bag instead of the usual eight to fourteen. It's just, it's how it goes. That's real life for farmers. Can tuna was still 60, I think it was 62 cents a can. Uh, the olives were actually cheaper. I meant to get these at Hannaford. They were 99 cents at Hannaford and they were a dollar, I think it was a dollar five for these. Not a huge, it's, I mean, it's not gonna break the bank, but when I yeah, tried not to worth, shop, I was- Not worth driving back for. Right, I'm not going back. Uh, we were out of ranch dressing, shame, shame on us. And then these are just restock items. I did buy, I have the big number 10 cans. We've eaten a lot of those number 10 cans of spaghetti sauce, but sometimes, particularly at this stage in the pregnancy, if we open a number 10 can, we might not be able to get all the way through it in time because I'm not cooking as much. So I wanted something easy for the kids that I don't have to worry about wasting. Cottage cheese for smoothies and just because I'm really trying to focus on a lot of protein for the baby right now. Sour cream. It was on sale at Hannaford for 99 cents. Aldi is usually 85 cents and it went up to $1.59. Whatever the case is, I needed sour cream. So I went ahead and just got two and said, I'll check the price next time. The lettuce was really heavy and well stuffed. Yeah, these are, these are, these, these are heavy ones which here. Which means that's really yeah. good. You're getting a lot more food for your um, buck. And I think it was $2.59 a bag. Onions were the standard price. Carrots went up. They used to be $1.29 for a two pound bag. In fact, this one bag did not even feel like two pounds to me, but they were up to $1.59. So that, I did see that price go up. Cabbage, pregnancy craving. I am that's all I want is cabbage, coleslaw, cabbage. So this was 69 cents, 65 cents. So one was $1.91 and one was $1.75. So I mean, can you deny a pregnant lady cabbage? I mean, think of all the things I could want. Um, heavy whipping cream, half and half. They did not have the smaller heavy whipping creams today. Not a big deal. Cooking spray, barbecue sauce for the pulled pork. Toilet paper is up. It used to be $6.59. It is up to, I think it's, yeah, $7.35. So that went up a little bit. Tortilla chips were $1.32. Yet the pretzels have reversed and these were 82 cents. It's so strange. If you ever watch prices, last year the tortilla chips are what, 82 cents? Yes. Under? And then the pretzels were like $1.59. So they just flip flop. So guess what? We're doing pretzels right now. And I got I picked up a couple bags. Not not huge quantities because I just I don't want that much in the pantry right now. I just I'll admit that. Powdered sugars for charity because she's been making her cookies. And then the apples were $2.89 for three pounds for this particular, the Empire's. Oranges were, and you notice I didn't get the oranges, $4.99, $4.99 for four pounds, which is high. I like to get them for when they're on sale, $2.99 for four pounds, so we skipped the oranges. What else went up? Hmm. I don't, 
I mean, there were just there's just, miscellaneous yeah. things. That I wasn't we, paying a lot of attention. A lot of it was just standard prices. So at Aldi here, we paid one hundred and thirty two dollars and thirty two cents, and we haven't been shopping for two and a half weeks. Two and a, yeah, two and a half weeks. When Art and I went, Charity went last week to pick up a few sale items because the meat was a good price. I have heard rumors that meat is going up. I don't know if that's across the board. 99 cents is what I usually pay. So I'm not seeing a huge mark in inflations. If you're noticing it, you may want to check out other options. Maybe go to more Whole Foods and then cook a little bit more on your own because I'm thinking the inflation is what we're seeing in processed foods. That's kind of my gut feeling. You agree with that, Art? I think so. We did not even look at the price on most processed foods, but mm -hmm. to me it did not seem like prices were much higher. Maybe a few things, but not a lot of things. I mean, bananas used to be 44 cents. I mean, there are certain things that are a little bit higher. I mean, mm -hmm. going back about five years, bananas were 39 cents a pound. Right. But I expect prices to vary. And I mean, they're farmers and, and some years crops are good and you can't, you can't always protect yourself from the elements. That's just reality. So I thought it was a pretty good shopping trip. We spent $162.43 for everything here. And um, I suspect we'll probably be doing a little bit more shopping, just picking up sale items to help restock the pantry and those things that were a little less. Like next time I see sour cream for 99 cents, I'll be picking it up. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was good, and I was happy. I was really happy to see the shelves were pretty well stocked. I didn't see a lot of shortages, and um, yeah, so there's my report for upstate New York. It doesn't look too bad out there. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great weekend.